Researching curriculum is one of my absolutely favorite things to do. Talking to the companies who produce that curricula is a vital part of my research. I have questions that I want to know, so who's better than to go to the source? Fortunately, I'm going to teach them diligently in Tennessee, and I'm going to be able to talk to those curriculum companies. So today I wanna to talk about what questions I ask curriculum companies, as well as what my plans are in Tennessee during the Teach Them Diligently conference. First off, if you are going to be there, please let me know. I would love to meet you. I'm so thankful for this community, and I really would love to meet you in person. So when I first think about going to a convention, there are two main things I do. I look at the sessions and I look at the exhibitor list. I wanna know what sessions I want to attend so that I can learn information from them. And keep in mind that a lot of the exhibitors do have sessions. And so you will learn more about their content if you are able to sit in, to, in their sessions. So now what do I talk about when I go to talk to vendors? What do I want to know from those different curriculum companies? Well, quite frankly, it depends on what subject it is. I have different things that I ask based on the different subjects that I'm looking for. So first of all, for math, right now my daughter is going into seventh grade. We have been using Singapore Dimensions for the past three years. I have determined that we cannot continue with Singapore Dimensions. If you are interested in knowing why, I will link that video down below. So I am now on the hunt for a brand new math curriculum. The math curriculum that I find online that is recommended has a very heavy video component. Now, I am not opposed to video components at all for math, but for my daughter, I need a blend of them. I need a video component, but still has a textbook. And so that's one of the things that I wanna find out. Do you still have a textbook with your video component? Is it something that I can teach or is it something that has to be taught through the video? And as far as I'm concerned with I can teach, is there a true teacher's manual? or is it just kind of an outline for what you expect the teachers to teach because I need the manual. That's just where I am. I need what is considered more of a manual. If they don't have one, can I make my own and how long will that take? Also for math, I want to know, do you go up to 12th grade? Do you go up through calculus? Because we are doing this switch. Now, when we switched from Abeka to Singapore Dimensions, it was quite the transition. So I only wanna make that transition one more time. I don't want to be switching after eighth grade. So I want a company that will take us up through calculus. So that is something that is very important to me. I also wanna find out what's your retention rate? How many of your customers stick with you? How many of your customers leave after, you know, a year? What is your retention rate? What is, what is your rate of people repurchasing from you? Also, my daughter is a kinesthetic learner. She likes those manipulatives. So I want a curriculum that does have some manipulatives with it. It doesn't have to be crazy manipulatives, but I want something that provides that opportunity for utilizing manipulatives as well as the textbook because right now my daughter learns much better when we can get her hands involved in it. And so those are the types of things that I would ask with regards to math. And that's what I'm planning on asking the vendors. If you like videos that are focused highly on curriculum, please make sure you are subscribed because I do love to do flip throughs and curriculum reviews. Um, as I said, I love curriculum. For history and science, I want to know if it's a biblical or a secular curriculum. This is very important for me in the history and the science studies. I need to know that I'm getting something that is a biblically based curriculum. Also, I want something that has lots of experiments if it's science or lots of hands-on activities if it's history. I want something that is not too heavy in the writing process because my daughter does not really like to write. And so I don't want her to lose that love of history or science because it is infused with too much writing for her. So those are the types of questions that I ask about 
for history and science. Now I have one more subject to address, but before that, I want to let you know that I have been invited to be on a panel for Made to Homeschool while we are at the Teach Them Diligently conference. A number of wonderful YouTube ladies will be on this panel where we're talking about the importance of community in our homeschooling journey. So I do invite you to come to our panel. We would love to meet you. Additionally, Made to Homeschool, which is this brand new community that we are working on, will have a booth at Teach Them Diligently in Tennessee. So make sure you stop by the booth where you can get your questions answered. You can meet some of us and we will be happy to share with you our vision for the Made to Homeschool community and why we are so excited about this endeavor. Now let's talk writing. First off, I need a teacher. I need a teacher that's not me. Um, if you're interested in a little bit more information about why, please make sure that you do check out below because I will link a video talking about why we need to outsource some of our subjects. But as for writing, I need a teacher that is not me. And fortunately, there are so many opportunities these days to be able to get that. So I'm looking for number one, a teacher's not me. And I'm flexible as to whether that is a teacher on a video or a teacher in a live class via Zoom or something like that. So either way, I'm looking for that teacher. I want also someone who gives feedback other than me. I do much better with my relationship with my daughter when I am the editor, not the greater. And so we want something where I have someone who will give that feedback that is not me. Also, I want to know what is their reluctant writer strategy? What kind of success have they had with reluctant writers? What are the steps that they take to help these writers become somebody who appreciates writing more? I won't go so far as to say love it, but to say that they appreciate it more than what they do now. So I do have a pretty tall bill for what I'm looking for with writing. If you will be in Tennessee, please make sure that you stop by the Made to Homeschool booth and come to the panel. If you will not be in Tennessee, please make sure that you do sign up for the wait list. There's no commitment to do that right now, but it will keep you in the know for what's going on with Made to Homeschool. I will include that link down below. I want to note that this video was requested by a viewer, so thank Thank you so much for asking me to make this video. If you have ideas for what you would like to see, then please make sure that you include them down below because I want to be able to provide you with what you're looking for and I really appreciate you.